these on your shelf and start reading them to your child before it gets to that difficult stage. These books are only $2. I picked these up from my niece's school book club. So when I found these book series, I was so excited. Also love this one a lot because my son is about to go into preschool. His emotions were an absolute roller coaster. I don't know how I'm gonna hold them up because they're quite Hi heavy. everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a really fun video. I'm gonna be showing you my favorite collection of books for toddlers and preschoolers. If you don't know, my name's Silvana and I have two little kiddos. My eldest is four years old and he'll be going off to preschool next year and my youngest will be two in November. We love books. I've been reading books to my kids since pretty much since they were born and they absolutely love books and I always encourage the kids to read books in our house. So today I'm going to be showing you our favorite collections that we have. So these books will be catering for toddlers and preschoolers. So if you're interested to see what our favorite books are, then keep on watching. get into the video if you're new here don't forget to click that red subscribe button down below and thumbs up this video if you do like it and I'll be sure to do similar videos in the future so the first collection I'm going to show you are these ones here and they're titled that's not my we have a whole bunch like I said this is a collection video so um, these are more catered for like babies and toddlers. What I like about these books is that every page has like a touchy-feely section that really stimulates your baby's senses and interest while you're reading the book. And they're really simple books because there's only a couple of words per page and really bright and simple pictures or illustrations. So each book is only five pages long, so um, it will keep your baby's attention span for pretty much the entire book. The ones we have in the collection are That's Not My Princess, That's Not My Baby, That's Not My Car, That's Not My Unicorn, and That's Not My Piglet. But there's a whole bunch more that we haven't yet collected and we'll be definitely adding those to um, our collection. The next set of books I wanna show you is these first reader books. And these are all your classic nursery rhyme books but they are written in a really simple way that your child can follow them. And once they start reading it, it'll be simple enough for them to actually read along. It just goes through the typical nursery rhyme story. My four year old absolutely loves nursery rhyme story books and he really loves going through these ones. Again, they have beautiful illustrations and not too much text on each page. So he definitely can get through these books with no problems. The ones that we have so far are the Three Little Pigs, the Gingerbread Man, Jack and the Beanstalk, and Goldilocks and the Three Bears. But we definitely will be picking up some more. These books are only $2, so super cheap and such an easy read as well. I usually add these to each birthday or Christmas wish list. So love this series here. The next collection of books is similar to the ones I just showed you, but it's these ones here, and these are titled Read It Yourself. On the back, it actually shows you a guide um, to help you work out which level is appropriate for your child. My son is only four years old, so he's not quite reading just yet, but you can definitely use this for a child that is reading and to ensure that you're catering for their abilities and also challenging them when once they have mastered each level. It's a really nice guide for parents. So the books that we have in this series are Little Creatures, Daddy Pigs, Old Big Old Chair, and Nature Trail. There is a whole heap more um, in these series books. Like you can see, I've got two level one books and a level two book. You don't have to get the Peppa Pig theme. There is a whole bunch more um, that is based on your child's interest. My son still loves Peppa Pig, so that's why we have three of Peppa. Um, but like I said, you can definitely get a whole heap more. And I'm actually um, in the process of writing up their Christmas wish list and adding a few more of these ones that aren't Peppa to expand his interest and um, just collection of these series. So I really like these books. The next collection of books are these ones here. And these are your occupation books. So each book is based on a different occupation. So this one is police officer, 
This one is a firefighter. This one is a teacher. And this one's a doctor. There's a couple of more up here that we have to still add to our collection. I picked these up from my niece's school book club. And I absolutely love these books. And so does my son Christopher. Because it goes through explaining what, of, what each of these occupations do. So obviously a doctor um, checks patients when they're ill or, they have, or they've had an injury. It also starts really interesting conversations about what they want to do when they grow up one day. How each of these people can help them if they're ever in trouble. And just to spark their interest in you know, reaching for goals and working out what they want to do in life. So really interesting books to read. Again, it's got the beautiful text and illustrations. So again, very easy for your child to sit through these without getting too bored or um, restless. So definitely a plus. There is several more in the series that we are yet to get. So hopefully we will be able to add those to our collection as well. And the next two series are bear related and we absolutely love these books and I've collected I think them all of them from this range anyways. I don't know how I'm going to hold them up because they're quite heavy but it's this range here and it's the very something bear. So we've got a whole heap as you can see and I absolutely adore these books. They're written in like a rhyme format. They're super fun and interesting to read. So we've got the very noisy bear, the very hungry bear, the very brave bear, the very itchy bear, the very cranky bear, and the very sleepy bear. So these are, I believe, about $5 each, super cheap and so fun to read, like I said. So the illustrations are amazing. They're so fun and bright and interesting. It actually teaches your child little lessons and also uses some larger words. So again, it gets the conversation going about what different words mean, how you can describe things in different ways. So I definitely love this book. It is like, it is absolutely so fun to read. This bear is hilarious. He gets into so much mischief. He's such an interesting character as well. So I absolutely adore these books. And like I said, I, I believe we have every book now in this series because I absolutely love them. Every time I see them in store, I pick one up. Um, but I haven't found any new ones that have come out just yet. So I do think we have them all now, which I'm super excited about. And great that Christopher has a full collection of these ones. And the other bear style themed book collection we have is these ones here. We only have two in this range so far. Um, there might be some more that are coming out or they have already brought out but we just haven't got them as yet but I definitely will be picking up more if there is more. But this is Brian. Um, again a really fun character. So this one's Brian the smelly bear and this one's Brian the smelly bear and the very smelly babies which is really fun. And again with the illustrations so bright and colourful and fun. It is written in a rhyme format again, so these books are very, very similar. However, they're written by different authors, but they have the same concept to them. Um, you know, they provide really good information to the child and really good lessons throughout. And just a fun, loving book in general. And I love the rhyming. Um, it really opens up the vocab for your child and gets them to explore different words and their meanings. So I'm definitely a fan of these books here. And like I said, if there is more in this collection, I'll definitely be picking them up in the future. So when Christopher was going through the terrible twos, we found the hardest time getting through this phase because his emotions were an absolute roller coaster and his tantrums were just out of this world. It was so difficult to handle. So when I found these book series I was so excited to get them and start reading them to my son and help him understand his emotions a bit better and how to understand them and deal with them and know that it's okay to feel certain emotions um, in different situations. So if you have a toddler around two or three and they're going through that terrible, terrible two stage, 
terrible, terrible two stage, then definitely look into getting some of these books because they really did help. And I'll be most definitely using these for my daughter Adriana when she does hit that terrible two stage. Um, but this is the first series I'll show you. It is this one here. So this is the feeling book and then it's okay to make mistakes. These books are written by Todd Parr and I absolutely love how they are written and the illustrations are so fun. Um, and we just get a laugh and a kick out of these books. They definitely do have a whole heap more that we have not yet got. So as you can see in the back of this book, there's a whole heap more in this series that we still need to get and I would love to pick up the whole series one day. But what I love about these books is it goes through exactly some of the emotions you might feel and saying that it's okay to feel this way. This book is absolutely incredible and it could be read to a two-year-old because it is so simple with its text and the illustrations. It looks like a child has actually drawn these pictures, which is so fun um, for a child to look at and they can actually have a go at drawing them when they're a bit older and they have developed that drawing skill. But really, really fun book. And again, it teaches them that sometimes you feel certain ways and that is okay. Because everyone goes through these emotions and it's okay to feel them. And then it's okay to make mistakes is really fun as well. And really good to teach the child that you don't have to be perfect. And things do go wrong in life and that is okay. We have to just deal with it, pick up the pieces and go on with our life. So this is a really good book to show them that in a really fun and bright and colourful way. Again, it's got really simple text and illustration, um, really appeals to a young child that is going through this particular phase in their life. And even at age four, Christopher still enjoys these books and gets a kick out of them. So yeah, would highly recommend these books if you are looking at something to help your child with their emotions and getting through the terrible twos. And I'm sure every parent has seen this book series and it's the last series that I'm going to show you in this video and it's these ones here. This is just one set. I've got a whole heap more as well. It's called The Things That I Love and there's six books inside this little container. So it's <clears throat> all the things that I love. So the ones in this pack are bedtime, the things I love about family, the things I love about friends. The things I love about me, the things I love about playtime, and the things I love about pets. So these are all um, paperback books in here. Really great series and it goes through all those different aspects in a child's life that they can definitely relate to and probably experiencing them um, around the twos and threes and even fours. We also have the things I love about. So this one's a family one. We've got the pets one too in the hardcover. And then I also love this one a lot because my son is about to go into preschool and this is the things I love about school. So we definitely are reading this one a lot, um, building up to going to school. So these three here are all hard cover books. So I'll just show you what it is inside. So it's got beautiful illustrations, so colorful and really beautifully written as well. It explains the things that you'll be doing at school for this one in particular and the things that you may feel or do and then obviously for pets it does a similar thing um, you know how to care for your pets why it's good to love your pet and your family and the family one again is very similar it just goes through about how you really really love someone and you don't want to hurt them and these are all the things that you can feel when you you know you are around your family so it just breaks down all the emotions and the feelings that they might be feeling during these different experiences that they are going through um, in their early years of life. And the other book we have is The Big Book of Love. So this one is just specifically related to love and what love is and how it feels. Um, if you've seen my video in, with me interviewing my son Christopher, and me asking him what does love mean and he said hearts i think he got it from this book because they talk about that a lot um, but it's a really sweet book and again explains what the emotion means and how it might make you feel 
And like I showed you, you can get these books in hardcover or softcover. We've got a whole lot more as well here. So these ones are in soft and hard. We've got these two in a hardcover. So this one is when I'm feeling lonely. This one is when I'm feeling jealous. And again, it goes through these particular emotions, explaining to the child that it's okay to feel this way. And this is how you can get through this emotion and deal with it and cope with it in an effective and calming way. So obviously your child's going to go through each of these emotions. They don't know how to classify what they are. They don't know that they're feeling angry, that it means being angry. Um, they just feel it and it's heightened and it's overwhelming for them. So these books are really helpful in allowing your child to process exactly what is going on and to help them through the, the roller coaster of emotions that they are feeling during this this early stage in their life so the other books like i said we have is when i'm feeling happy we've got the scared one the kind one the sad one the loved one and the angry one i think we've got all of them that is a whole heap of books there i do believe we have them all i hope we have them all but like I said, these are extremely useful, really easy and relatable for your child. Um, and I highly recommend anyone, like I said, that has a child around the two or going on to two, get these ready, prepared for when your child does hit that terrible stage of dealing with the roller coaster of emotions. Get these on your shelf and start reading them to your child before it gets to that difficult stage. So they can start processing and understanding these emotions as they are dealing with them. So they're my book series. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm sorry it's probably a long one. But I hope you have found it useful and entertaining. And if you have any other book series recommendations. Please leave them in the comments below. I love getting new books for the kiddos. And especially if they're in collections. And that is all from me today. I hope you all have a lovely day. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.